chopping things already. I like this one better. <laughs> that one looks nice. It looks like it has like sparkles going on in there, or am I just imagining things? I love that. It is pretty. I like the green. I love this. Well, you've been looking for your green, right? True. Color? Let's do this. Yeah, the light one. Grab the box. The light one. Oh, it's not blur anymore. Okay. It just needed to get its shit together. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I have my best friend in the entire world here. <laughs> We're so put together. I'm with my best friend in the entire world, and that may or may not be our room service, but this is my best friend, Brooke. We are tipsy, obviously. And we've drunk a decent amount of alcohol. And we've ordered <laughs> more. <laughs> and we've ordered more. And we're waiting for our room service to come, which by the way, we're also in a hotel room. So we are away on a girls weekend, enjoying ourselves, having fun, and doing a fuck ton of shopping. <laughs> so this is my Sephora bag. Just be silent the entire video? You can talk. <laughs> You're allowed to talk. <laughs> I'm just trying this is my Sephora bag. And the fun part of this haul is that Brooke actually came and picked out the majority of my makeup items. So I just gave her like categories. So I was like, I need a liner, I need a loose powder, I need an eyeshadow palette. And Brooke picked out a whole bunch of stuff. And we had a whole lot of fun doing it. Did you have fun? I did have fun. Did you have fun? I have no idea what I'm doing. Did you have a whole lot of fun? <laughs> so All I fun. know is from Monica's channel. <gasps> Self-promotion on my own self-promoted channel. No, I mean, like, I'm no one. I'm just promote, you know. Uh, shut up. <laughs> okay. You my BFF. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna do the, the drunk haul because we're fairly drunk. Um, just just Still. a little. And we're waiting for more alcohol to come. So we're gonna go through everything we bought at Sephora. And we also went to MAC. Bought some more stuff at MAC. So we're also gonna go through all of that. So let's go ahead and jump into the, the drunk haul. Okay, so this bag is so heavy that like I'm pretty sure I injured my elbow on the way up to the hotel room. So True. It did happen. True fact. Okay, so. And the receipt. We're not going to look at the receipt. No, it didn't, doesn't exist. It doesn't. I mean, what is. No. It flew oh. right back there. <laughs> okay, so I think I should hold up the bag. And let you pick stuff out, and then me. Okay, I'll, and then I'll be that whatever you pick out, if it's something you picked, you get to explain it. Okay. And if I picked it out, I'll explain it. Okay. Okay. Grab egg style. Oh, of course, it is <laughs> the Urban Decay Distortion Eyeshadow Palette, which I did in fact pick out. So I told Brooke to pick out one eyeshadow palette. She went all around the store looking for the perfect green eyeshadow we actually swatched a whole bunch of things i still have something on here somewhere me too we're all and dirty we swatched a whole swatches. bunch of green eyeshadows and we saw the best green and the best orange in this palette and i haven't tried this palette out yet so we very grabbed exciting. it very exciting we did very exciting the orange is something to behold i feel even though i don't know what i'm talking about next one. grab bag okay so this is something that i picked out if you guys remember <laughs> If you guys it remember, is bright white. It's bright as I don't know. I don't know if it'll focus. I don't think it'll focus. Back here, you gotta come back here. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually something I talked about during one of my weekly wish lists or washouts. This is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. It's got a bunch of highlighters, blushes, and bronzers in there. And I mentioned in that video that I really wanted to see it in store and swatch it. I swatched the hell out of this palette, and the highlight was stunning. Brooke looked at my hand and said, "That's amazing. You need it." And I was like, I want this palette. I thought about it for a while. I saw it in store. I swatched it. And I finally got it. <laughs> You're like the most perfect Vanna White. I realize I'm looking at the screen and not actually at the lens. <laughs> well, so I do. I do it all the time. Hi, directly <laughs> above everyone at home. Well, because I do that all the time. Like, if you look at my videos, like, I'm not looking, like, at the lens. I'm, uh -huh. looking, I'm looking up. Because <laughs> I'm looking at this. <coughs> That's me. It's me right now. We're getting there. Oh, my God. Where's our alcohol? Oh, interesting. 
Ooh, here's another one. So this is the. It's by the same people that make Beauty Blender. This. Ooh, that's a good. That's there the we best go. Angle this right is there. the Linear Designer Pro. Yes. Eyeliner designer. There you go. If Eyeliner you're one for rhyme. designer. Because we all love a good rhyme. We do. So this is supposed to help you really perfect your liquid eyeliner game. And I've been looking for like a tool to use to help me out in the mornings, especially when like I'm half asleep and can't do jack shit to my eyeliner. My best friend tried this out and liked it and said, you know what, you should try it out. And I said, you know what, I trust you and your opinion and I should try it out. Yes, it's, and it's here, something. And here it is. <laughs> Awesome. So we have, I think this is a hairspray. I don't think this is a dry shampoo. I don't know if it'll focus. No. It no. Focus. Anything light won't focus. So. We'll tell you what it is. There you go. We got, as a 100 point perk, I picked up the <laughs> Dry Bar Southern Bell hairspray. And I actually got this because I thought it was a dry shampoo. It's not a dry shampoo. So I thought it was a dry no. shampoo and it's not. So I don't have a dry shampoo and my hair is kind of gross. So we're gonna fix that tomorrow morning when I wash my hair. In our but really it, cool shower. It's, it's, it's square. It's a square shower. It's a square. You want to be square in the shower. <laughs> Next. We're gonna finish this haul before <laughs> the actual alcohol shows up. They said 15 minutes. I know, it's been more than 15 minutes. Next, we have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in my shade, which is 1 and 2. Now, I just mentioned in a video how I couldn't justify buying this, even though it was one of my favorites because I had so many foundations. But you know what? I bought it. It makes us happy. It makes us happy. It was on sale. I got 15% off because of the sale, and I wanted it. You know what? I wanted it, so I got it. It's a good foundation. Try it out. Yay. Next in the grab bag of awesomeness. My products aren't coming up right now. <laughs> They're hiding. <clears throat> Next we have one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush kits. I might actually kit. be able to see. No, just <laughs> Next we have one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush kits. You know, I've been wanting to try these out for forever. What shade is this? This is called Peachy, Peachy Love. Love. Oh, that was beautiful. It was almost that was sink. Okay, let's try it. Three, two, one. Peachy love. Peachy love. That was beautiful. Anyway, this blush kit I've wanted to try out for quite some time, and I got the peachy one, which I think would look best on my skin tone. And Brooke here agreed. She saw it in store, and well, I finally. I know. Found it. You know so much. <laughs> Thank you, Vanna White. We're still going. We never stop. Wow, there's actually a lot more left in here. <laughs> None of my products! Oh my god! Okay, so there's another one in here of that. Uh, okay, okay. Because there's two of the same thing. Oh good, my voice just went. <clears throat> okay, so I actually bought two of the same product in different shades in the mini size. These are both the NARS, what is it called? The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I bought two shades because I have no idea what shade I am in this concealer. What are the shades? Custard Medium 1. Custard <clears throat> Medium 1. Excuse me, old lady. And Vanilla Light 2. Vanilla Light 2 and Custard Medium 1 are our shades. I have no idea which one I am. I bought two of them. They were in the drive-by aisle in Sephora. I've wanted to try this concealer out for a long time. Never got around to it. Finally found minis. Finally found minis in shades I thought would match me. So I went for it. And it's going... <laughs> it's going to just hop onto my face. It's going to your shoulder. Oh, we, can, uh, we can move ah! on from your shoulder to your, your face. I, because it's makeup! <laughs> Next in the grab bag get into the of thing, awesomeness. Huh? You picked this one. Oh, this one I picked. For no other reason other than I couldn't find any other loose powders. And this we, is the first one I found. Surprisingly, we searched like half of the Sephora and I think the only loose powders we found were this one and the cover effects one, which good on you for picking this one because I already had the cover effects one. I'm not good I'm not choice. Too terrible at this. You're amazing. Okay, so what did you pick out? I did a Natasha Denona. I picked out the Natasha Denona Invisible HD Face Powder in one light zero one light medium. And see, I had no idea Natasha Denona made loose face powders. Who knew? Literally no idea. Like Thank literally you. no idea. So I'm actually a really surprised to try this and be happy that they had a shade that'll work well for me. And C, I didn't bring any loose powders with me on this trip and I needed one. Excellent job all around. High five. Thanks. You're demanding. You're demanding. Oh. 
you want to cut it? It's not even on. Oh, now it is. <laughs> and now we're okay. One, two, three. <laughs> pink is up, bitches. Oop. Apologies. Can you see my pinky? I can see your pinky, and it, it's up now. I look at myself too much. I know, I'm staring at myself. Yeah, I'm not I, staring I stare at anything but myself. 90% of the time when I film, I'm staring at my own eyes. Okay, um, challenge accepted. I'm gonna stare at you. No, I'm already staring at myself. I'm already lost. <laughs> Grab bag. When did you forget this up? Where was I? It was in the drive-by aisle. No, I so think you just shoved it into your bag when I was looking at something else. Oh my god. Yes. You can't even see it. So this is the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, and we're gonna open it right. Have you tried this before? No, what is a Boom Boom Cream? Okay, so it's supposed to be like lotion for your legs and for your butt that like firms and tightens it, but A, I don't believe in any of that shit, and B, it smells amazing. Mm. Right? Yum! <sighs> it's just it this. smells good. Try out, <clears throat> try out some of the lotion. It's also like a really good. What's lotion. it gonna do to my hands if it's supposed to firm up my legs and butt? I don't know. I don't see. I don't see anything firming because I did try a little bit of this before. I just love the scent. It's like my Karma cream from Sephora. <gasps> yeah, that's a bold claim. It is, but I love this stuff. But it's so expensive. It smells like coconut. It smells like cocoa butter. And it's the kind of coconut that's not obnoxious. Yes. Because I, I don't hate, like coconut. Exactly. I hate the fake coconut scent. Yeah. Like, there's a couple of Marc Jacobs products that's like fake coconut, and I can't stand how it smells. But this smells amazing. Like, that's thank you, Sol de Janeiro. I love this lotion. I'll probably buy the full size next time because I, I just need to do it because I love it so much. I did it with the Karma Cream. Wow. Well. I did it with the Sol de Janeiro. Ooh, this one's interesting. Yes, bro, pick this one. It's because it's so daring. It, okay, okay, so Monica is a Slytherin. <gasps> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. And I've been watching her videos because unfortunately we are long distance and sometimes the most contact we have is when I watch her videos and cry. Oh. Um, so I saw this. It is a, you're gonna have to say the name for me. Okay, okay. so this is the YSL Mascara Vinyl Couture YSL. in shade three i'm the excitement and what that means is that the, it's this beautiful amazing emerald shade it's a green mascara it's gonna be amazing and also it's ysl so and i have to say i accidentally got some on my fingers well maybe not so accidentally but i got some on my fingers and it's after like those alcohol things that sephora does whatever it's still there it's still there she's washed her hands multiple times She's used makeup remover and alcohol, and it's it's still there. Can you see my? You can't. No, it's it's, it's useless, but it's there. <laughs> what do I do? What's going on over there? Did you scratch yourself? With what? I don't know. Myself. <sighs> Onwards and upwards. It's the best way to move through life. You gotta keep going forward. You can't look back. We're at that part of the night. <laughs> So we got lip gloss. We went from life philosophy to lip gloss as oh, you I'm sorry. should. I'm sorry. It's okay, so there's two there's two my shades. My texture isn't good enough for this. Wait, okay. what's this last? <laughs> is this a lip gloss too? Oh, no, it's not. You can see the shade difference there. A little bit. Because it's like one's like a nude and one's a pink, which is what I wanted. So in one of my last wish list or washout videos, I talked about this Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine lip gloss and how I wanted to pick up two of them, a pink and a nude. And I finally saw them in store. I swatched them. They look amazing. So I picked up a pink and a nude. The shades are actually called Fuel is the pink. And the nude is called na Naked, obviously. So I finally picked these up. I actually also got a sample of this in my Sephora Play, which I brought with me in my suitcase because I'm that extra. Um, but I bought it. So the sample that I got in my Sephora Play was a different color. It was a bright pink, like hollow color mm -hmm. with like silver sparkles. So I was really happy to get that sample, but I'm also really happy that I got to try out the colors that I really wanted to try out. Well, I'm excited to see it. I mean, I'm, I think they're gonna look beautiful. And I think there's, oh, there's two more things left. No, there's one more for me at least. <laughs> and it's not this one. <laughs> I already own- 60 beauty blenders. Exactly 60. <gasps> Six zero. 61 now. 
I counted. So I can go two months without having to wash anything. <laughs> two months. Could you imagine how rich you'd have to be if you never had to like wash anything? That'd be like, really nice. You would just throw everything out and then just get Ooh, like laundry. Yay! Yay! We're the last thing that Brooke picked out. I'm really and excited now about this. I, now I remember what it was because I was like, <laughs> did we get the the S the S brand one? We didn't get the S brand one. Mm. Pronounce this one as we well. We got the Givenchy. Yes. G Givenchy. Givenchy. There you go. You got it. So what what did we pick up, Brooke? We picked up the the liner vinyl brush tip eyeliner in high shine black vinyl. So I gave Brooke just a couple of directions before we walked into the store. I just said I need a liquid liner, a loose powder, and an eyeshadow palette. And this was the liner that she picked out, and I was actually really excited that she grabbed this one because a I've never tried anything from Givenchy because is Givenchy, and I never picked anything up. And B, it's actually like a nice brush tip. We saw it in the store, we tried it out. It's really black. I don't think it dries down matte, but that's not a problem because I could always set it with powder if I want it to be matte. But I think it's gonna look beautiful and I can't wait to try it out. Yay, and that's the last item that wow. we got at Sephora. At Sephora. At Sep <laughs> the key words are You thought at this was over? <laughs> it's not. No, because we still have half a bottle of champagne left. <laughs> True, and more than half a I, I think we need a refill. Whoa. <laughs> You're gonna hate this. You're gonna hate me when you see this. Stop. <laughs> We're, it's gonna be artsy. Let me reach in. Your this turn. Time, and I'll go through the Mac stuff because I mostly picked all this out. Let's see. I mostly. Well, okay. I introduced you to one thing. Because you I did. Was like, Whoa. Brooke, Brooke did pick out one thing, and I'm really excited about it because it's something that's new. So. Zoom. We're gonna go with the biggest thing first. And I picked up one of the Mac and Patrick Star collaboration kits. So this is his second round of his collaboration with Mac. And I picked up the kit called Me So Chic. So chic. So chic. So I was going back and forth between these two kits for a long time. She could tell you. I was going back and forth because I really liked the eyeshadow palette. Ooh, what the? They just gave me a face. Our new friend <laughs> will be joining us for the video. Her name is Tiffany. She's you pulled that out quickly. <laughs> I thought have it was... you met before? Well, I thought it was gonna be like a pictures of all the products so I wouldn't have to dig through and find them, but it, they just gave me a face. I don't think that's the, is it? It's a face. Oh, they're all wrapped. Shoot, God, they don't wanna make this easy. But look, okay, so look at this compact. Looking. I feel like I'm a sailor scout and I'm about to just activate my powers. So anyway, there was that thing and then this is the next thing. <laughs> okay, so this is the eyeshadow palette. It's actually stunning. Like the packaging is beautiful. Like 100%. The eyeshadows, nice and purpley. There was one royal blue hmm. in the mm -hmm. other palette that I was obsessed with. But I didn't like the lipstick, That's I didn't like the lip gloss, and I didn't like the face palette that came with the other palette. And I'm not gonna buy a whole kit of makeup products for one eyeshadow that I like. It's, it's, not, it's not smart. Can't so look, happen. these colors are pretty, and we actually swatched this. And she kept the swatches on her hand for a long time. And eventually that royal blue that I was really obsessed with faded and didn't look as nice. Whereas the purple, was it this one? No, it was the deep purple. This one, the deep purple, that swatch was stunning and stayed stunning until she washed it off here in the hotel room. True. So that's just, that really just shows you first impressions can be really, really misleading. There's two more things in this collaboration, but it's a lipstick and a lip gloss. I'll show you guys in another video where I try out the whole kit. Moving on. I'll be watching, will you? Just kidding, that was a little- Yo! That was a little intense. I'm not that intense in real life. Okay, I also got Whisper of Guilt by MAC, which is a limited edition item that they finally brought back, and this thing is legendary. Everyone I'm and their- yawning, you're yawning. I'm sorry. Everyone <laughs> and their mother used to talk about this highlight, and I never knew what the big deal was about this highlight until I swatched it. Once you blend it out, which I love to do with highlighters, 
it was beautiful it has this gorgeous like yellow undertone which looks amazing on my skin tone which yes. you don't see that often so i had to get it so i got whisper of guilt and then da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. the product that brooke picked out she got sort of i would have picked silver just throwing that out there we'll get it next time okay. so we picked out the mac liquid last liner in what's the shade it's a brown but it's what's it called brown <laughs> It's a brown liner and it looked amazing like it. I mean, okay, so this is the liners that we swatched true <laughs> I've washed my hands multiple times. I Cocoa swear bar. it says cocoa bar on Cocoa it. bar cocoa it was, bar. It was hiding It was on the top <laughs> Okay, so, anyway cocoa bar so the moral of the story is if you swatch Mac eyeliners They're gonna stay on your hand forever, forever. It's true. And if you drink too much champagne, you're gonna burp a lot What's her name? 